When I was growing up, you could buy the latest and best football boots for £50 maximum. Nowadays, if you want the latest boots, they can go for £300, unless you buy them off Wish. I've been scrolling through to find fake products that look the exact same as the real ones for a fraction of the price. Going into this, I don't know what to expect. Are they going to be awful and fall apart, or are they going to be the same as the real products? Today, we're going to find out. Okay, so first product, we've got to start with the boots I've got, which look like some fake Nike Superflies. <sighs> okay, so first things first, look at the Nike tick. So that must be how they kind of get around the copyright here. On the pictures, they kind of just angle it from the side, like a side angle, so that it just looks like a Nike tick. But as soon as you turn it around, <laughs> you get that. So these cost me a grand total of £25 and today we're going to be comparing them to the Mbappe Nike Superflies. Now these ones aren't even the top model so they cost me around £80. This is going to be interesting, let's see how they feel. So boots on and they felt really nice. They're quite light and are actually really comfortable. They even come with the same socks on the top of the boot which make them really easy to get into and honestly if I was blindfolded I would not be able to tell the difference. I was even hitting some really nice shots with the fakes. I might have been having a good day, but they felt as good as, if not better than usual. Oh. Okay, so they actually feel really good. The only thing I'm noticing is they're a little bit big at the front. But what I want to do now is I want to compare some actual metrics against the real boots. So we're going to start off with a speed test and see which one I'm faster in, the real or the fake. So I did three speed tests and over the three I was faster in the real ones by the tiniest amount, but there was barely any difference. So overall, the fakes don't have any issues in this department either. Like I also did a quick first touch test to compare how controlling the ball felt, so five touches with each pair. Oh, So obviously given the choice, the reels are of course better, but not by much. The fakes were performing well. I came back and after testing them over a few days, the durability of them was okay. But the only main difference that was clear over time was the comfort, as these were starting to rub and did feel a little bit stiff. But apart from that, overall, I'd happily wear these and feel like I could play a good game in them. So I'm going to give them a four star review. Okay, so up next we have Wish's answer to the Adidas Predator goalkeeper gloves, which I think look so sick. So here they are. They're basically the exact same, just without this logo here. But I think it's a pretty good attempt at a copy. So the real ones cost me £100, and these fake ones cost me just £20. So before I put them on, I'm going to do a blindfold test to see if I can tell any difference in quality. Okay, so we haven't even started, and we've already got some wear and tear. Literally taking the plastic sheet off, and it's ripped to the glove. <laughs> Okay, so I don't know which ones are being handed here first. It's the left one. Oh, okay. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, I mean, these feel nice. They feel nice, good grip. Next ones, please. Okay. They literally feel the exact same. Same fit, same grip. I honestly could not tell you the difference. So I moved on to a grip test and there wasn't too much in it, but the fake gloves actually just edged it. I'm moving on to some handling and shot stopping. They felt good. They didn't hurt my hands or anything. The padding felt the same. Now, obviously, I'm not a goalie, so I might not notice the finer details, but from an outsider's perspective, I honestly did not feel a difference, and they look sick as well. I absolutely hate playing in goal. <laughs> Again, the only problem could be the durability, but overall, I'm giving these a strong 4.5 stars. So up next, we have a fake Premier League football. So this is a replica of the 2016 Nike Auden ball used for the Prem. I couldn't actually get my hands on the real version of this, as you can only get them secondhand now, and they go for around £500, compared to Wish's price of just £10. So instead, we're just going to be comparing it to one of the latest real Nike Premier League footballs. So I'll pump that up all the way. Is that a size five? To me, that's a size, I don't know what size it is. It looks like a size three. Already points off the board for that. 
So I started off with a bounce test which the fake ball was behind in and also a weight test where the real one came in a bit heavier at around 600kg compared to the fake at just over 500kg. Okay, I mean it feels nice, it's quite spongy and stuff, but it's just so small, it's weird. So I wanted to compare some shooting against the real ball, 10 shots each, I don't think it's going to hold up very well, but let's give it a go. So after saying that, this ball was actually quite nice to shoot, because it was so small and light I could get a lot of dip and movement on it. Ah. So as you can see, both footballs did have similar accuracy, but if you're buying a ball, you just don't want it to be this small. So for this reason, I've got to give it two stars. Okay, so this next product is going to be interesting. I've got a fake PSG shirt for £20, and I've changed into the real one, which is quite rare nowadays, so these go for about £300. So let's see if there's much of a difference. Okay, so... To me, that looks really good. I think the only thing missing is the Jordan logo here on the right. Obviously, it seems like that's how they all get around copyright. But then again, they've even included a PSG tag. So I don't know how legal that is. Seems a bit dodgy. Just looking at it as well, it says XL. I mean, I ordered a medium, but we'll see how it fits. It's even got Neymar on the back. Comes with that as well. And I thought I just ordered the shirt. I didn't know it comes with the full kit. So point awarded for giving the whole kit. Point deducted for it coming in the wrong size. Okay, full kits on. It actually fits quite well, to be fair. It said it was an XL, so that's a bit weird. And for 20 quid, it's decent. I'm gonna give it a 3.5. I'm gonna wait for the rest of the video, and if it starts to rip or anything, then I'm deducting a point, but not too bad. Okay, now the last one is probably the craziest one of the video. I've even managed to get my hands on a fake Louis Vuitton football. You guys know that I tested the real thing out in my first video, and I wasn't too keen on it for 5,000 pounds. So let's see if this thing is any better for 15 pounds. <laughs> Okay, so it's still heavy and hurts your foot, but not any more than the real one does. So overall, because I'd give the real one one star, I'm just going to give this one star as well. But for a £4,985 difference, that's not too bad. Okay, so overall, the fake products did actually pleasantly surprise me. I mostly held their own against the real ones. There are a few in here I would actually buy. For me, I think the best product was probably the gloves. But yeah, if you guys are actually interested in these products, you can get them on Wish and also Amazon as well. But I hope you enjoyed the video. It was an interesting one to make, and I'll see you next time.